Army of the Dead is out now on Netflix. It is the newest Zack Snyder film. He has signed a deal with Netflix. Army of the Dead focuses on a group of mercenaries who are hired to infiltrate Las Vegas during a zombie apocalypse to steal $200 million worth of cash. And you guys know I've been critical of Zack Snyder in the past. I did think that his cut of the Justice League was a major step up from what we originally got. So I was interested to see where he was going to go with this movie, and he really does return to his roots. I don't know if anybody know, knows this, but he did make the remake of Dawn of the Dead. I think that that's one of his better films, and I will say I have not had this much fun watching a Zack Snyder film since probably Dawn of the Dead or 300 or Watchmen. So it's been a while that I have thoroughly enjoyed a Zack Snyder film. That's not to say the film is without faults, because there are definitely faults here, and I will get into those faults, but I was actually having a good time watching a Zack Snyder film. You can tell he put his heart and soul into this film. He added a lot of humor, which has been very, very absent from his previous films, and I think that that added a little bit of flavor to the film. I liked following this crew around and watching them interact with each other, the camaraderie that they have, the safe cracker, I forget his name, I think it's Dietler. The safe cracker, scene stealer, steals every scene he's in in the movie. When I found myself laughing at multiple instances and at some of the zombie deaths in this movie, because there are some good ones, there was actually a sense of camaraderie among the characters, and I actually found myself caring a lot about the characters, which is something I haven't felt for a while in a Zack Snyder film. Zack Snyder, for me, always puts visual spectacle above story and character. He's always a style over substance type of director, and I think here, while there's a lot of moving parts with the story, I think he does a great job at hammering down emotional weight for these characters while also giving us some visual spectacle in the process. The action scenes here are really fun to watch. There's one in particular in the middle that I was very fond of. It has perfect lighting too. It's somewhat dimly lit. Most of the light comes from the exiting fire of a bullet coming from a gun that's shooting at zombies. That was a really interesting action sequence. Not a lot of slow-mo action, something I have been critical with Zack Snyder in the past. There's very minimal slow-mo in this movie. It's used at the right times, which I think is very beneficial to a movie like this. It seemed like Zack Snyder realized, I've been using that too much, I think I should craft a more grounded zombie movie, but add some spice into it with the humor, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And going back to that action sequence for a minute, it's it really brought a sense of intensity to this film. It really brought a sense of tension because it's a scene where they are walking through a corridor of zombies that seem to be standing up but awake at the same time, so they can't make a lot of noise. When something happens, someone starts attacking the zombies, and then I found myself saying under my breath, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And I haven't had that feeling in a Zack Snyder film for a while, so he does a great job at crafting tension and suspense before these action scenes happen, and when the action scenes are going down, they are a lot of fun to watch. I never thought I would find myself with a giant smirk on my face with Dave Bautista running across a bunch of different blackjack tables with an assault rifle shooting zombies. That's the type of level we're at here with the fun and entertainment. When it comes to flaws for the movie, it's definitely way too long. It is a bloated movie. This is two hours and 28 minutes and easily a half hour of this movie could have been cut out. There are subplots that connect to the main plot that I just felt didn't need to be there. You could have cut some of the, at least some of them, some of those subplots out, and we still would have had a cohesive narrative, and we wouldn't have had to worry about the movie straining our attention halfway in because it was getting to that point. Even though I was already entertained, I could feel the runtime in many scenes, and I think having so many subplots that connect back to the main plot that really didn't change the outcome of the story except for maybe one. I just think you could have cut them. You could have shaved a good 20 to 30 minutes off of this, had it at an hour and 50 or two hours, and call it a day. But it feels like it was a Zack Snyder director's cut that was used as the final cut that was released to Netflix. Like, I feel like there is a shorter cut out there, but Snyder just filmed everything. He wanted to put everything in the film. And that was his final cut. That was the locked cut that we got. I think he falls into that trap sometimes. Also, I didn't like the ending. I just... 
It made me question the entire movie because we learn something or we are led to believe that something is only happening in a certain part of this world and now we're led to believe that it could happen somewhere else which I guess it's it's br it's bringing something from one place to the next could be leading into a sequel it didn't pack the punch at the end for me there was an emotional gut punch at the end I knew something was going to happen so I guess in a way I got a bit predictable towards the end but it didn't feel like it was an ending it feel like it felt like it just stopped there's a lot of movies that do that. And then, boom, the credits rolled. I said to myself, I want a little bit more. I guess that that was just a cliffhanger to set up for a sequel. Because I don't, I don't know if Snyder's going to do a sequel or not. Uh, if, if it's successful, I could definitely see him doing a sequel. So I don't know if that's why the movie just stopped right where it was. it was it seemed like it was going towards something and it just stopped dead in its tracks and that's that's a huge reason why I didn't really like the ending there just wasn't enough weight to that ending going back to the positives for a minute there's also this father-daughter dynamic that is really the main crux of this movie between Dave Bautista's character and Ella Purnell's character that I thought really really shine through probably the strongest aspect of the movie definitely Snyder's best character work to date I also love the zombies in this movie I love that the zombies aren't like at the forefront of the movie I love that the movie is set against the backdrop of a zombie apocalypse and the second half of the movie is really where the zombie action starts to take place but what I loved about the zombies in this movie is that like they were different zombies than what we've seen this movie could easily have fallen into a lot of the zombies movie genre cliches and tropes and at times it does but it also takes the genre and turns it on its heels and creates something that felt fresh to me for instance the zombies are hyper intelligent like there's a fight scene that Dave Bautista has with a zombie where he's taking a knife he's swinging it at a zombie but the zombie is do is dodging it that was a huge surprise there's also like different factions of zombies power dynamics there's this zombie that's been that's trying to come after them for the whole movie that looks like one of the lichens from Resident Evil Village everything with that I thought was actually really cool and really done well because it was because it felt fresh it felt original it felt like it was Snyder's spin on the zombie genre and it felt like that was him going back to his roots and in a way taking what he did with Dawn of the Dead and expanding upon it in Army of the Dead. That's really all I had to say about Army of the Dead. I definitely found a lot of entertainment in this movie despite some major flaws that I had with it. Bloated runtime, a lot of subplots, and the ending just didn't work for me. The rest of the movie is damn entertaining. This is probably the most entertained I've been by a Snyder movie in a while. And I'm gonna say you will enjoy Army of the Dead even with three quarters worth of a bucket of popcorn. Definitely a fun way to kill an afternoon if you have time to spare, or two and a half hours to spare, I guess. What did you guys think of Dawn of the Dawn of the Dead? What did you guys think of Army of the Dead? Drop me some feedback in the comments section below. I'll leave my link to my website in the description below as well. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I'll see you at the movies somewhere.